Welcome back. Today we are going to be drawing some floral type drawings, either leaves or flowers. We're just going to be drawing them today. And another time we can go back with the watercolor after we learn how to use that and we can paint them. So if you have a thicker paper at home, I would suggest to use that first. If you don't just use whatever paper you have, the watercolor may not work as well on a thinner paper, but we can try it. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start at an angle. When you do things not just right in the middle, it makes it more interesting. So I would start somewhere on the side of your paper, maybe in a corner, and we're gonna start with a stem of a flower. And it does not have to be a straight line. Think of organic shapes because you're finding these in nature. A lot of the shapes won't be perfect. So we're just gonna make a little stem that comes out of the corner. After this, we're gonna make some leaves come off of this. So a little curved line, and then we're gonna come back and connect it. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And these are not gonna be perfect. And then finally, we can start with a flower. So I'm gonna start with the bottom petal and it's gonna be an open flower. So we're gonna start with a little line up here and we're gonna have it come out and it's gonna be kind of a wavy shape. So that's the bottom petal and if you don't have it perfect and you need to erase, do whatever you need. And next we're gonna do a petal that kind of comes behind this one and curves up. So let's do one on each side to make it even. And notice how they're not perfect. This is a flower. It's not gonna be a perfect organic shape. There's no such thing. So we're gonna make a wavy line. And you kind of want them to go in the shape of a leaf, but now we're gonna come back and we want this to be folded up a little. So notice how this is like the edge of the flower kind of scooped up and we can actually add another one over here. So we're gonna go ahead and add the back flower petal And now we can add all the details that go inside of that. So do some stamens, nothing too crazy. And now is where we want some details. So we're doing curved lines, kind of if you followed the eye tutorial, kind of the same thing as the eyelashes. And we'll do a few flicks down here and we'll go up here and do a few as well. So don't do them perfectly in every place, kind of just scatter them about. And then on the bottom one here, you can have them curve up like that. So now we have a little flower. I like to start with the flowers and then always add extra leaves um, kind of where there's open spaces. So pick another type of flower maybe to add next. I'm going to do one that kind of has a funky looking stem. So it's going to be a little jagged like. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to do the same thing as the other. So this one has kind of like a wood stem instead. And where it pokes out, usually that's where another little area starts. So I'm gonna add a little leaf right here. And maybe another comes out here. And then we're gonna add a bunch down here. And I think I'm gonna end up erasing the inside of that. That's okay. We're gonna add 
some stems that come out of this that are skinnier. So we'll do about four, and then we're gonna have some small flowers that start on here. So I like to do a little bit of a scoop, and some of these are gonna be overlapping. If you wanna extend some so they're not, you can, but sometimes the overlapping makes it look a little more realistic as well. So little scoops, and then we're gonna do some type of leaf that covers the bottom of the bulb of the flower. So little pointy jaggedy edges. Nothing's perfect though. And then we're gonna start with the shape. So you wanna start and follow that curve that you just made. And you can even draw, kind of connect. So this one goes behind, so I'm not gonna worry about the top too much. And this one's gonna also be a little behind it. So we have four little bulb shapes and now we're gonna make some petals come off of it. So I'm gonna kind of stick with that shape and follow the outside first. And I'm gonna do the middle one next. And then I can do the ones that kind of come behind. So do that for all of them. And if you wanna do the front two first, it might make it easier. And now I have some cute little flowers. And last but not least is the stamen for this. So you can add some that come behind it. And that looks pretty good. So on the leaves, we can do some curved lines that kind of follow the outside curve. All right, and maybe I want another here actually. Just play it by eye, not ear. So see where your empty spaces are? and eventually we'll fill them up a lot more. Um, all right, so we're gonna go on to another flower, some little dogwood flowers. So this one is the most simple flower to do, but it can get a little difficult if you're used to doing the regular type of elementary flower. So we're gonna start with one curve, and we want this kind of open space in here, so if you wanna draw that circle, it might help. And we're gonna do another petal. And this petal is gonna go kind of behind, so it's not super perfect. And then I'm gonna erase this so we don't get confused. And now I'm gonna do some of the inside of the flower. And this is where the little lines come in handy. So I'm gonna do a few that go on each petal. And then the top is where we're gonna add a few more. So curve, straight, straight, curve. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You can do a few, you don't have to do as many as I'm doing. If you've ever seen a dogwood flower, from the middle here, it's really pink and the outside edges, but mostly it's white. So it's just something to keep in mind. And then I think I'm gonna do another that comes behind this flower. Take a petal and start it over here. And then I'm gonna go over. And I kinda of want one of the edges to curl up. So I'm gonna make this one actually do that. So I'm gonna start here and do a little crescent moon shape. And that makes it so it's a little curved up. If you do them all flat like this, they won't look as realistic. So just keep that in mind when you're drawing these. You can even add some to this one if you want. It makes it a lot more interesting than just plain old flowers that are so perfect. It's not even real. So we're gonna add a few of these in here. And then we're gonna do our lines. So, we'll 
let's just do some vines that kind of have little leaves that come off of it and go behind some of these. I think that would bring this all together. So you want them to kind of connect in a way. So by making some vine-like areas that go behind one another, it kind of makes them all connect. So I'm gonna make a, like an S shape that goes behind this. And then we're just gonna make this a little bit thicker. All right. And then we're actually gonna do some little leaps. So we're gonna go and do the same type of shape. So it's like a teardrop and I'm gonna do one on each side. And they can stick out different directions to make it a little more interesting. Some can be bigger. I love to make these type of um, gifts for people and put their names on them. I do a lot for um, like baby gifts. And the last one, we're just gonna do one little petal. And so we're gonna come back and just draw a little flick of a line that comes out of that. So if we want to add more, I feel like this area behind here is a little bare. Um, one thing that we can do is add some more details in the leaf over here. So we can either keep it the same as this or we can do a different type. I think I kind of like the long um, lines within that. So I'm going to keep it the same and maybe we can add a different one behind it. So I think it would be kind of cute to make a little, another little kind of tree branch thing come behind this one, but maybe with a different flower on it and maybe with more branches that come off. So we're gonna get crazy. So it's kind of making a V shape and you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing either. I'm just kind of going with this as I draw. Maybe you have more empty space, so you wanna do one of the same flowers that you already did. All right, and then at the ends of them, I'm gonna do a little kind of bulb. So a few little lines, and then maybe I want another little one to start here. Kind of hides behind there, and then I think I wanna make some little leaves come off of it. I think I'm going to do one more dogwood that kind of comes over here just to balance out the bigger flowers. So let's do one that starts behind here. One here. And maybe this top one, we want it really curved down. So we're going to make it shorter and it's going to be folded. We can erase the circle. And for the top one, because this is the most confusing, we're gonna do some lines that go and follow the outside curve. And then we can do some that come out of the middle. And then I think I'm gonna do one big leaf that kind of comes behind this one and it's going to be kind of a jaggedy leaf and i think that looks pretty good so if you want to add more to fill up some areas go for it i'm going to stop there and then maybe later we can watercolor this one